So in today's video, I wanted to show you how I achieve a reapplication process to any of my synthetic wigs. These are the items that I'm going to be using. They will be linked below, but they will also be in my Amazon storefront. So the first part of this process is definitely going to just make sure your lace is blended and just matches as much as possible to like, yo, this is my scalp. This is what it needs to be given. I bought this color and it's actually not the color I wanted. If you want to go deeper, it's actually better. But this is a way how you can fix this. With the tone that I have, I just still spray my, my lace and then I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade that I have for a bronze or a powder and you're just gonna pat it in. Once you do that, you're gonna spray again for a second time and it's just gonna set everything in. Just let it chill for like a few minutes and then you're gonna be good to go. So this is what it's going to be looking like. And pretty much if you put it on, I just wanted to kind of show you like, after doing that process, that's honestly it. You can just stop right there if that's what you want and just fix the edges, put the clips in and keep it going. But for anyone who wants to be able to do like a half up, half down and do like whatever it is you're outside, you flip your hair back and forth like Willow Smith, you wanna do whatever and it doesn't move, that is what we're going for, okay? That is what we're going for. Gorilla, gorilla girl, when she said, my hair, it don't move, that is exactly what we're going for. So I'm just going to be parting to kind of just show y'all, this is what it's given. Like, it's just more seamless and you're not really worried about, oh my God, does it look like, is it lifting, whatever the case may be. So what I'm gonna do is go in front of my hairline. So one of the products that I also listed is the best way to remove glue from your hair or from your skin, just any type of application period. Because I'm gonna be using this bolt hole, I am very, very, very cautious about taking off glue. So I just make sure I have a solvent that just removes it and just make it as loose as possible because you don't want to also injure yourself at the same time while doing this. So just make sure you're being as careful as possible. So I'm just gonna go in front of my hairline. I'm just gonna go around. And the next step, some people might find it odd, but I'm actually going to use just the smidget of what this is because my glue for some reason is already really tacky. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to just spray my hairline with um, the ebon spray and I'm just gonna make it dry down once you do that just let it dry down and get as tacky as possible and then move in sections it is always better to just go slow because slow and steady sometimes does win the race you don't have to run and rush because you don't want this to come out like the way you weren't going for right like we wanted to come out the best way possible the first time we don't want to have to redo it again so I'm just gonna do this and kind of like making sure that everything is as thin as possible because although i want the lace to be laid with this being synth a synthetic wig you don't necessarily have to use as much glue like you would for a human hair wig because the laces are different the lace on the wigs are different so this is pretty much ongoing once my hair is like dried down and it's tacky enough i'm just gonna put the lace down and like I said you're gonna work in sections the whiteness that's there don't worry about it it's not gonna show just make sure your whatever glue you're using is tacky enough and as just like the least amount of product is there as possible so start small and you can always go and add more and that's better than just like rushing and trying to put a bunch on it and then you just have a problem so after you just do these sections, the next steps I'm going to do is spray the hairline and just try to make sure that I'm putting it down and you see me tugging at it, that's just showing y'all like it's not moving already, like it's just cooperating the way that I needed to. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray around everything and then I'm just going to put my band on. Make sure you invest in just some type of band to like take away all of the product that's there and just let your hair just marinate like chicken, right? Like season it and keep it pushing and just let it do what it do. And you just continue to get ready. And that's honestly it. Hey. 